Chopper inbound. Oh, get it. Hey, Dishy, what happens if I break out my finger? Ow! What's up guys, this is Dishy here and today I'm back with another tutorial for you guys and this time it is all about dodging those sick ass missiles which we all apparently hate now don't we? Alright so first things first, I took a little help from a friend of mine named Shankel and obviously his YouTube channel will be, link in, uh, will be linked in the description below so please go ahead and check, check him out and this video will only tell you about how to use the ECM to dodge uh, to dodge the missiles, okay? I won't be going out with flares and you know other stuff because flares It's obviously pretty obvious and extinguishers doesn't dodge missiles So I'll be showing you how to dodge missiles by using ECM All right, because there's there there are a lot of people who tell me dude Why do you use ECM like flares? Well, it's because it has a fucking logic behind it. I'm not stupid all right, I do things because they have a reason behind it. So I'll be telling you that so-called reason in this video. Now, before I show you how to do it, as always, I'll first tell you what to do and why to do it. All right, so why do I use the ECM? Well, I use the ECM because I have to get into dogfights. I do get into dogfights against good jet pilots from time to time in a public game as well. So I need ECM to hide myself from the enemy air radar so that I can, you know, maneuver around and get behind him and blah blah blah. Alright. Uh, I know flares are more reliable in dodging the heat seekers, but well, they have a 10 second cooldown time. And ECM only have a 5 second cooldown time, so they are actually better mathematically speaking. Alright, now let's talk about what I do or like how I do it, okay? What I do is I use the ECM right before the missile is about to hit me, just about a second or two before the missile is about to hit me. And I go close to the ground while doing that. So what that does is uh, the ECM distracts, I mean uh, disrupts the missile's tracking capability and what it does is the missile starts the, uh, you know starts to circle around you now when that happens is if you're flying close to the ground the missile will hit uh, you know the ground or the tree or some building or some shit and explode elsewhere and not hit you so you'll be completely safe now i'll obviously show you how to do this and i'll be showing you from two perspectives one from the guy who's firing the missile i mean one from the perspective of the guy who's firing the missile and two from the pilot's perspective And that was the perfect demonstration of what to do and how to do it. Now let's talk about different kinds of missiles, all right? Uh, first is Javelin. Javelins will track you down till your death, till your grave, till the time you're painted, okay? Even if you use your ECM, they will keep circling around you and they will hit you the moment your ECM goes off. So uh, the best way to avoid them, fly really close to the ground, like literally fly so close, just like you're kissing your girlfriend. All right, not kidding. Fly that close to the ground and just hope for the best, okay? Just hope that the javelin will keep circling and it might hit the ground, uh, you know, while circling around you. Then next is stingers. Stingers are not as bad as javelins, but they have the same thing. They will keep tracking you and, well, you'll have more chances of surviving uh, if you're flying close to the ground. Uh, now heat seekers, okay, let's talk about two heat seekers being launched at you from a jet or a chopper One out of those two heat seekers will always hit you Okay, always well, let's say 85% of the times they will always hit you and Well, it will bring you down to 55% 
uh, health and that shouldn't be a problem if you know how to handle yourself in that situation and as I said fly close to the ground you may even have a chance of you know uh, distracting both those missiles and both of them uh, you know end up hitting the ground or something else so flying close to the ground is really crucial okay and with all that being said I guess that will be all for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot more Right, and if you did, then be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new here. Until the next time, you guys take care. This is Dishi signing off for now. Love you guys.